Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today, I'm going to be doing a garage sale haul. So we went to uh, Joplin, Missouri uh, last Saturday, which is about an hour and a half from our house. And we hit some garage sales and flea markets and little free libraries. So without further ado, let's just get started with what I found. So first thing I found were these hats. And um, there were four of them. I gave two to my sisters already. And they were 50 cents a piece. And they're brand new. They're so cute. Yeah, really cute little hats for 50 cents. Brand new. Couldn't pass that up. <laughs> of course, I got books. Um, I got kid books from my little free library. 10 cents a piece. Yep, I got a whole bunch. Um, yeah, so when I buy books for the Little Free Library, I try to not spend more than 10 cents a piece, especially for kid books. Um, this one I was kind of excited about. It's kind of cute. Isn't that cute? I thought it was cute. Um, this one was really cute. And this little frog one, yeah. And this one still has a new sticker on it. I can, 10 cents. Sesame Street, um, Elmo, Easter. Yeah, 10 cents. Hello, I'll take that. <laughs> and at the same garage sale, she had this for um, 50 cents. Vera Bradley, little, um, you know, zipper. I don't know what you would call it. For your key keychain, I buy these even if they don't have the lanyard that usually goes with these. Um, I buy them, and my daughter likes them. I like them, use them all the time. In fact, I just bought a new one from. Um, we went to uh, where did we go? Oklahoma City, and went to the outlet mall, and they have a Vera Bradley outlet in the outlet mall now. So anyway, I had just bought this one with the lanyard that goes to it. Um, and look at the new, I don't know if you can see it. They have new uh, hooks or whatever that, I don't know what that's called. But anyhow, the old ones don't have that little hook. So this, this is one of the newer styles. Here's the back of it. Um, so yeah, I actually bought this for um, our cruise that's coming up. And so if you've ever been on a cruise, then you know that you get your sign and sell card when you first get there and you wear it around your neck. So that's what I got this for. And then for when we get off the ship and go to ports and such, I thought I would just put this on there with my money. Yeah. So I got that, but I got that at the outlet mall. So I did pick up um, this cute little, let me move this other stuff. Um, <clears throat> Doc McStuffins doll. Um, and she did have all of her stuff. So she's got this and all her little accessories um, came with it. So all this little stuff. And I paid $3 for all of that. And she looks really good. Like she, she even talks. Let's see if I can get her to talk. I have. Okay, she might need new batteries. What can I say? <laughs> but for $3, I have a niece that's uh, fixing to be six. And I don't know if I'll wrap it up for birthday or not because it's not new. But you know what? Kids don't care, especially at that age. They don't care if it's new. If it's something that they like, yeah, $3. And then I got this, too, for her, for my niece, for her baby dolls. Isn't this cute? It was only 50 cents. Yeah. You know, a little taggy blanket. But I thought she'd like it with her little, for um, her dolls. And it was really cute. I mean, hello. Cute. Okay, so then I bought this book. And it was only 50 cents. <clears throat> this book is old. It's called The Perfect Victim. I think it's a true story. Um, this book was wrote in 1988. So let's just briefly tell you what it's about because my camera's fixing to die. Um, 
Colleen Stan was a sweet-natured, lively 20-year-old on the day in 1977 she decided to hitchhike from her home in Oregon to see a friend in California. Seven years later, she emerged from hell, the victim of a bizarre and extraordinary crime. Kidnappers Cameron and Janice Hooker had literally made her their slave and forced her to endure all of Cameron's twisted sexual perversions. True story of Colleen's ordeal and of the strange marriage between Cameron, a well-liked mill worker, and his young wife Janice, who knew too well her husband's secret sadistic sexual appetites. Yeah. So, the cover didn't really grab me. I mean, the perfect victim. But something, maybe it did, I don't know. Something made me pick it up and read it. The la It was an old lady. She had a bunch of um, vintage stuff and 50 cents. And then when I read the um, synopsis, I was like, ooh, I think I'm going to read that. And then she said, oh, yeah, that's a true story. It's kind of creepy, but, yeah, it was good. And I was like, I'll take that. So I did for 50 cents. <laughs> I know that was kind of a weird thing to buy, but, hey, why not? So, that was all I got at the garage sale Saturday. Um, we did get some other stuff at the flea markets. Uh, we got some, uh, we got two road signs. One is a, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, speed limit sign. And the other one was like a bridge coming up sign or something like that. And I put them out on my fence. Kind of cool. Maybe I'll take a picture so you can see them. But yeah, we got those for $15 a piece, which was cheap. I've been wanting to get a, a stop sign for my fence outside. It's a wooden fence. Um, but I haven't found one that I want to pay the price for yet. <laughs> but anyway, so that was what we did Saturday. It was really fun. Um, I did do a little free library tour uh, video. So if you want to check that out, a few videos back. All right. That's all I have for today, friends. I'll see you next time.